Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. What a wonderful day here at Fishers of Men Campground, or excuse me, Ranch near Marble Falls, Texas. I want to introduce you to Wes. Wes has got a Class B Plus yep. motorhome, and it's a beautiful. It's it's beautiful. I mean, it must have cost a half a million bucks. I'm just kidding, kidding, kidding. But anyway, <laughs> here's Wes. Hi, Wes. What year model is your Class? Uh, it's a 2005 Trail Light. Uh, it's a Chevy chassis. It's a 6.0 liter, and it's really 23 feet long. 23 feet long, 6.0 Chevy, and you get what? How many miles a gallon? I get 11 miles a gallon, pretty consistent. 11 okay and then on the back i noticed that you have uh a electric bike yeah what brand is that it's an eco trek eco trek why did you select that one over some of the others it was only 800 dollars. the price made the decision <laughs> <laughs> it was the cheapest one i've had it now three years and yeah. it works really well good good uh and what oh that that's for the sewer thing right um, I bought that sewer thing at Walmart because it was on clearance, uh -huh. and I've never used it. I hear you. <laughs> never used it. No, but you had to have it. I carried it around because it was clearance. I couldn't, couldn't let it go. Yeah. And behind it, I carry a, um, half of that jug just to spare water in case I need it somewhere along the line. What, what size fresh water tank do you have? I think it's about a 30 gallon, 30 okay. or 40. All right, all right. I'm well, not really sure. Well, it looks like you got a wee boost? Yes. I got one of those. They work pretty good. Yeah, I do like the Weebos. It's come in I, handy at a few spots where it just gives you that extra connection. Yeah, if you got any signal at all, it definitely boosts it. Yeah, yeah. So let's look around your RV here. And uh, this is a Trail Light B Plus, correct? Yes. Is that and, your a Chevy? Yes. Oh, great, man. That's great. That, that old engine will last forever, man. Yeah, it's been a yeah. really great. I've had it in um, desert at really high temperatures and it does just fine I, once i had to stop just to let it cool off a little bit but didn't overheat yeah and um it kept on going what year model is it again 2005 2005 and you've had it about three years you yeah. said and i've got about it's i bought it with like forty six thousand. now i have about 76 77 000. any mechanical issues at None. all None just at tires all. and stuff i bought new tires and two nuts that's about it what, what type tires did you buy you firestone mean, is that the best one um from when i bought it i was in new hampshire and he recommended firestones because the ones coming off firestone and they had no wear whatsoever okay as far as the sidewalls and stuff all right so they they, they held up well so you got over seventy thousand miles on your vehicle and no mechanical issues at all None. Huh? well that's amazing man well you know can you show us the layout i mean yeah I mean, if you can do a video of mine if you want to. Anyway, guys, this is Wes, and this is his Trail Light B Plus 23-footer 6.0 Chevrolet engine. He's got his, look at this big heater. My God. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes care of everything, too. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. No, it doesn't take much, does it? No, no, no. And is I it? insulated, yeah. um, like, in the sides where the cab sticks out yep. from the front. I insulated down to there, I insulated on that side. I insulated underneath on both sides. Okay, well, let's look at this. this is, you know, you've got a bed over here. Yes. And that's your bed, dining thing, everything, yes, right? It does fold out, but I don't fold it out unless uh, my lady comes along, which she did in Florida for a while. Yeah. Um, and that's just storage up there, that bunk bed. That's what that you... used to be where the TV was. Yeah. And then there was two cabinets. Okay. I moved the cabinets. Yeah, do you, I mean, you know, you don't have to take everything apart. Oh, I see how you do. That chair, that swivels around. Swivels you can, around that's, yeah. that's your spot. That's my spot. That's the sitting spot, huh? Yeah. If yep. you open up the side, you can sit and read. I got you. I got you. And then over here, you're like me. Of course, I don't have, you got 10 times as many dishes as I do. I got one <laughs> knife, one fork, one spoon, one plate. Yeah, I have, it it kind of accumulates. It does. And then I purge it. Yeah. And then it accumulates. Well, now, how long have you been full time? Since October. I sold my place in New Hampshire in October and I took off. October 2021? Yep. Okay, so, but you've had this for three years. Yep. And sold your sticks and bricks or whatever. Yep. And you said, I'm on the road. How, how, how have you liked it so far? I like it. I like it a lot. I spent um, three months last year going from New Hampshire out to California to visit somebody. Okay. And that just got me the bug that I <laughs> decided to <laughs> And you got hooked. Yeah. So you sold your place, you've been on the road full-time for a few months, 
And uh, have you been, you've been out west, obviously. You went to yep. California, so you came back through New Mexico and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I went mostly Air, north up to Wyoming. Okay. And Idaho. And, the, well, that was you know, in October and stuff you did? No, that was, that was last year. Oh, last year. Last year, earlier. Okay. Yeah, this year I stayed south because I left in October. Okay, okay. And your plans now are to head east over to Florida, right? No? Um, first I got to go over to, up to Alvagordo. Okay. Meet up with my son. Oh, that's right. You have a son stuff. Air Force. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, this is plenty for one. Yeah. And uh, you get 11 miles a gallon. Yeah. You know, you must, what are you, a cook? No, I just, um. I mean, you got pasta stuff. and spices and, t I mean, what are you trying to show off here, getting organized or what? I can't <laughs> help it. I mean, you, you, what, Everything. You, what were you, some kind of a uh, organizer? Well, it, it, I don't know. Huh? Same thing. I just, yeah, he's got little, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you know what that does? You know, I mean, it keeps the noise down when you're traveling. Yeah. yeah. And it makes it easier to find something. Once yes. I got used to it, it took a while before I did realize what I put in these containers. Yes. Oh, I know. And help. the other ones I put in tags on them because I uh, Well, no, I, but believe me, man, I mean, I, I I would take the doors off if it wasn't for the fact yeah. that it'd fall out. out. Yeah. I mean, I've but, done that too. <laughs> Usually, I, I go, you know, a couple hundred feet or so, stop, and yeah. look to make sure I closed everything up. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I always forget something. Oh, you're telling Noah about the flood, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, it's it's a, it's a known fact. I had one that a cabinet was open. I had a container of uh, olive oil fall, hit the floor, and, open? and burst. Oh, God, like, oh, what a mess. mess, what a mess. What kind of little heater is that? Um, I got it at Walmart. It's a little... Uh, but it heats this whole thing? Yep. Really? Yep. Huh. And I, I love it. <laughs> How about, and you got, so you got a full bath. I see you got it full of stuff, what you got. Yeah, I just, it's in one of those containers for uh, dirty laundry, so I pull that out or I use it. Yeah, I hear you. Back. Yeah, well, everybody's, that's just a good plan. And the, the great thing you got, you got your good sitting spot there. Yeah. Where's the refrigerator? Right here. I went oh, you a, got this, okay. I went to a cooler, two sides. Oh, ice okay, coat. okay. Oh, one is ice chair, or one's cooler and one's ice chair. Yeah. Okay, and what kind, what brand is that? Ice Co. I C E C O, Ice Co. Yeah. Oh, ISCO, I C E C O, and it's 12 volt? Yep. Huh. So, all I use propane for now is once in a while if I run the heater or oh, my stove. So, this came this came with this? No, I put this in. You put this in. Was there a refrigerator here yep. before? It used to be right here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. This, this used to be all a refrigerator right here. Okay, I got you, got you, got and you. Those refrigerators, of course, you got to have them level all the time. You, well, you should, yeah. This you don't. Yeah. This can be up to 30 degrees off and not have a problem. No, I, I'm about 30 degrees off myself, but be that as it may. So there's a little three drawer. That's for your clothes and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I just grabbed that. That's all right. Don't, left don't, 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 you don't need to move that. That's really amazing, and man. Then I put my TV here. Well, bully, bully. Just in, if I want to watch something, I stream something. Well, you don't have to pull it apart if you don't. Oh, well, <laughs> oh man, I love that. <laughs> you, That's my little. Uh, <laughs> it took a lot of planning and thinking. Did you Did you make that? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. What What were you, What was your your career in the other world? A uh, machinist. A machinist. Yeah. Is that sort of like an engineer? Where you? Um, no, we're better than engineers. We actually make things. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you hear that, engineers out there? <laughs> you, know, you don't just draw them. We paper. work together all the time. Oh, I'm Most sure. Most of the time, machinists, sure. engineers, because they have yeah. an idea, we have to actually make the thing they want. No, I got you. They, they bring it in and say, yeah. can you do this? And you say, well, we hope so. Well, anyway, Wes, let me get out of your way so you can close this door and let it stay. That's it's not that cold That's here not. today. And the other but, thing I use is for water is this. What is that? A uh, turkey filter. A uh, what? Berkey filter. Berkey filter. It, you can take the swamp water and put it in there. And it goes through two filters on the top. It's got two filters on the bottom. Well, how much do the filters cost? Um, per gallon, they're very cheap because it goes for a long period of time. How many? But the whole rig was like $300. So you got $300 for the rig and then the filters? Yeah, I've had the filters now for three years. I mean, now you test them by putting like a red dye through it. Oh, and it, okay. And if it goes through, then you have problems, but otherwise they say it's really? fine. So you get the filters on you can get it from Amazon? Filters. Yeah. I see a lot of people use the filters and make their own containers. Huh. Berkey, B-E-R-K-E-Y? 
Yeah. So you don't have to carry water. Huh. It'll, and it works very well. Oh, I've never tried one. I've heard. I don't even know that I've heard about that, Wes. But anyway, thank you much. And let's get me get in here. Ah. And you got a nice camp chair right there to sit out and enjoy your life. Yeah, my beer thirty. Beer thirty, boy. Do you do that? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh hell, that's that, that's yep. what life is, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, Wes, anything you want to say? If if there was somebody about your age that was thinking about doing this, would you say thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, absolutely, do it. Do yeah. it. The only thing changed this year from last year with gas wise is because I I don't travel as much. I'll stay in a Corps of Engineer or a free spot every now and then just to break up the gas cost. Yeah, yeah, that, and but it's going to go higher apparently. It's going to go higher. It I mean, appears. It broke 90, get $90 a barrel, so if it yep. goes higher, it's going to be... Well, Bank of America is projecting $120 a barrel. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, of course, never mind, let's don't get into that. But, yeah, so it just means the price is going to go up and, and you just reduce your travel a little bit. So what? That's what I plan to do, you know. Anyway, be that as it may, Wes. Enjoy your day, enjoy your life, and let me end the video by Thank saying... Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye, bye, bye. Anything you want. Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Use the Amazon link in the description of the video. And whenever you grow up, if you're lucky, you can live a life of luxury like Wes from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Hampshire. Is, is that how you say it? Yep. Say it. Say it. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. You say you say farm or you say farm. 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 <laughs> I lived on a farm. And he we lived. have cars. Yeah. Yeah, we have cars. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Wes. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.